What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. You know, black men, this is a very interesting episode, what's going on with our brother Tyrese. And the reason why it is is because this is something that all black men uh, can relate to. We've all been in relationships with uh, certain people that we've seen red flags and there have been times where for whatever reason you know we're sick of the person we wish they would go we've had it up to here with with their with their bs you know you don't even care about how good the sex is you don't care about how much fun it is you just keep running into these perpetual problems and you keep running into these problems and 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 you 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 want to get rid of them okay and one of the things I want to say also is that a black man, once we decide that we want to break up with a woman, it's usually that woman has done something to this man that has really disrespected his masculinity. If a man doesn't want, especially if he's attractive, if a man doesn't want to be with you anymore, she's really done something that's really hurtful or really annoying that, that even if he wants to get rid of her, okay? And that might happen, I would say, about 10% of the time. So once that does happen, um, the first week or two or three um it seems to be fine all right but men are creatures of habit especially black men okay you know a lot of you brothers are working out uh not working out but you're working a lot of hours a day a lot of you brothers uh, have certain projects that you want to do you have goals and things you want to achieve and um one of the things that's really good for some brothers is they have a stable woman in the house right or a stable um life and uh you know and maybe the shot woman can help you cook or when you get home she has things clean for you and stuff like that and then when you when you leave that woman leaves and you've been used to her it you know she's not there anymore but it's like hmm, you're, you're starting to miss that you're missing some of the sex you're missing some of the bonding some of the jokes and just the companionship of her being there and this is what Therese, Tyrese was going through. Tyrese decided that he wanted to file for divorce uh, from his wife, ex-wife, okay? And, uh, you know, he, you know, she, um, and this is right, her name is Tammy Franklin. And this is um, right after she accused him of not wanting to pay enough child support and putting him out. So, you know, he wrote like, you know, happy anniversary, magic and magic and more magic. Uh, smiling and smiling. I'm going to get her back. Watch me, I think. Oh, my God. Right? Now, Tyrese is going through what I'm calling coochie withdrawals. Okay? Coochie withdrawals. And this is the guy that just a few days ago um, didn't want anything to do with her. He wanted to just remain friends. And she was just ousting him like last week. But now he's having those coochie withdrawals. Now, coochie doesn't necessarily mean, you know, sex in this case. But now all of a sudden he wants to get back with her. He was talking about, you know, it's attacks on black families and things like that and all of that. But now he wants to get her back. But the thing is, he forgot what annoyed him to her in the first place. You know, I, I think a lot of guys have to remember that I, I've been victim of this, too. You know, I've definitely been victim of this too. I've been victim of, you know, being with um, a lady who has some really nice positive things about her, but she can really cook, really clean, beautiful, nice booty. You know, I love the booty. She had good top, good top in the bedroom, if you know what I'm talking about. But she would have mental breakdowns for no reason. And she would be stressing me all the time. But when she left and I wasn't getting that top no more, I wasn't getting that good food no more, I was missing her. And, and that's what I wanted back. I wanted the good things about her back. But forgetting that, I was going to get the bad things about her back. And what was going to happen again was we were going to go down that same road. Because at the time, she was maybe like 30. Okay? Uh, 20 something. I don't know. All right? And obviously, would I think that she's going to change from that? You know, and I, I want to talk to guys about that because what, what's going to happen is, yeah, you're going to get those good things about her. But what about the bad things about that lady that, that you don't like? What about the bad things about you that she don't like? You know, 
and and let's be honest another thing has to do with black relationships or that has to do with uh, african-american relationships i know the tyrese's wife is like mixed but you know we're not in a position that we handle conflict very well what do you do when things don't go your way okay how do you compromise how do you handle pitfalls how do you handle hard times now if you don't come for families that stay together that's a hard thing to deal with you know and i think a lot of brothers out there um regardless of money this is another thing i want to talk about is that a lot of brothers out there don't um have a lot of self-esteem have a lot of self-esteem i think tyrese who obviously a lot of women might find him attractive but here's the situation with tyrese right Tyrese is also an entertainer that's very known. He would be likely to think that a woman would love him for him, okay? Which is probably why he wants to get back with his wife, probably because he loves her and has a child with her, but he probably honestly believes that that woman uh, wanted to marry him, not necessarily for his money and his name, but because of she loved him. And if Tyrese goes out and just dates the average chick, the, the, what he's thinking is, is that that woman is gonna be pretending she's going to be pretending to like him she's going to be pretending to love him and yeah he can get another woman soon but can he get another woman that's going to be genuine and see that's the thing that these guys have to understand guys with a lot of money are targets right guys with a lot of success are targets women know who they are they know how to pretend and that's probably something that tyrese really knows and understands which is why if he's going to be in a relationship again you know he'll probably try to get back with her and, and obviously he's had as much you know coochie as he can get you know many women and all that stuff and, and and maybe that's not enough but but the situation always comes back to as black men whatever pissed you off about her is going to piss you off about her again and you have to be able to understand that you know there's some things you have to love about people but there's some things you just can't accept all right there's some things about certain ladies that you just can't accept and if it's to the point where you feel that you need to part ways, and again, I am glad he's trying to get his marriage back, but I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, and that's an honorable thing, you know, stay together for your kids. I believe that. But if it's too bad where you, you have to, you know, get back with them with demoting yourself, you're not dealing with her from the position of strength, you know, your, 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 your ego is going to be shortened. You're going to be, uh, you know, uh, basically begging for her positions you know and, and that's what it kind of seems like here then the disrespect is probably going to continue to mount it's going to escalate he's going to continue to be more frustrated and then you'll be back where you are again all right so i wanted to just say that brothers it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk uh, i really appreciate you brothers for all that you do subscribe at the bell check out the first comment pinned to the top check out the black men of perfect teachers t-shirts check out the patreon and as you know the buffoonery remains at an all-time high i'm out